At least you have an explanation. It's not just in your mind. Right. Yeah. So true. All right. So we live in earthquake country. Later this morning is the Great California Shakeout. And experts say you could be anywhere when the shaking starts, but you should be prepared. Yeah, absolutely. And Glenn Pomeroy is the CEO of the California Earthquake Authority. He's joining us live to explain why it's just so important to practice these skills. Glenn, good morning. Thanks so much for being with us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so first, just talk about the purpose behind the Great California Shakeout. You know, the shakeout is the largest preparedness drill in the world for earthquakes. Uh, um, it happens once a year, uh, the third Thursday of every October. And it's just a moment in time when we can all just spend a second, actually a few seconds, practicing what to do when the ground shakes. Because it's so important when, when that happens, when it's in real time, it's not time to think about what am I supposed to do. And so it's, it's really very important to just sort of uh, get that muscle memory built in. Yeah, for sure. You know, and many of us have practiced drop, cover, and hold in school. So why is it so important for people to keep practicing this drill? You know, because a lot of people still recall the old advice, which was bad advice. Uh, get up and run out of the building, they said, or run to the door frame, and that's actually the worst thing you could possibly do. So it's, we just got to remind ourselves what to do when the ground shakes is you drop to the ground. Uh, cover your head. You can get under a desk if you can, but if, you, if there's not a desk nearby, just cover your head because it's heavy objects that are coming from the above or off the walls. Uh, that's the major cause of injury or death. Drop, cover, and then just hold on. Wait until the ground quits shaking, then sort of survey the situation and figure out how best to get out of that situation. Yeah, and it makes sense that you have to practice this because sometimes your instincts just take over. When there have been oh, yeah. smaller earthquakes, I have just run for the door instinctively and then you realize, that, wait, this isn't what I'm supposed right. to be doing. So you have to kind of Put, make, like you said, make it muscle memory. It's really important. Yeah. And, and you, know, you show the you show the little clip of school of school kids, and you can imagine if they were all getting up and running around uh, helter skelter, all the things that are flying off the, the ceilings uh, really can't hurt people. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And and Glen California has new grants to help secure older homes from earthquakes. So explain to us how owners can apply for money to upgrade their homes and make sure that they're safe. This is pretty exciting. We're going to be able to provide 21,000 homes uh, with this with this one grant alone, with um, up to $3,000 to help retrofit their older home. So just go to uh, uh, earthquakebracebolt.com, see if your home qualifies, and then just put your hat in the ring. Uh, we'll be selecting a, uh, up to 21,000 names and get, helping them get retrofitted over the next year or so. All right, great advice, great reminders, Glenn. Thank you so much for your time this morning. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. All right, so Marcy, if an earthquake were to happen here, get under this table. Under the desk, yes, yeah. Don't I know. Forget. And again, it is it is just you really important know. to practice and remind yourself because it's it could be easy to And forget. when it happens, you might freak out a little bit. So well, that's it, exactly. Right. That's why okay. we have these reminders. Yep. The time now, 540, still ahead.